It's hard to imagine what's running through Jennifer Murray's mind as her helicopter rolls out of a hangar in Fort Worth, Texas. Murray is just minutes from taking off on a pole-to-pole -pole flight. Yes, the 66-year-old grandmother is attempting to become the first woman to fly around the North and South Poles in the same trip. I heard that no woman had flown around the world and that it had only been done by four men. I thought, hey, here's one. And then, of course, once you start on these adventures, it just gets you, it gets into, it gets into your blood. You just, you just want to go for it each time. It's actually the second attempt for Murray and her co-pilot Colin Bodell. In 2003, their flight ended in a dangerous crash in Antarctica. Bodell broke his back, two ribs, and split his liver. Murray wasn't as seriously injured, but still thinks about the crash frequently. This has been a dream to actually get back in the helicopter and finish off what we set out to do because after that crash in Antarctica back in 2003 there's been a lasting sadness there's been a sort of trauma about it um, sadness for the loss of the helicopter now we're going to put all that right to put it right the two must fly some 41,000 miles over more than 34 countries they plan to land right here in Fort Worth sometime in May not soon enough for Murray's husband Simon Behind that glamour, there's a steely determination to do these things. Uh, I, I, I think it's great to see women, 66-year-old grandmothers, charging around the world in helicopters. Helping to send them off, billionaire adventurer Ross Perot Jr., the son of the former presidential candidate. Perot, an avid pilot, was the first person to fly around the world in a helicopter. Tuesday, he admitted he's jealous of Murray and Bodell. This is adventure. It is dangerous. It's difficult. Uh, you have to be the best. You've got to be in your game every day. Uh, they're well trained, they've got great equipment, they're ready to go. Ready to go where virtually no one has ever gone before. Rich Matthews, The Associated Press, Fort Worth, Texas.